let's discover LobeChat, a free open source large language model platform packed with a lot of useful features. Speech synthesis, multi AI providers, custom agents, marketplace, plugin system, and so on. Before diving into the platform overview, let's see how you can install it. You can self deploy it on your server using Docker by following their documentation, or use a platform like ours to take care of the installation, backups, updates, and maintenance for you. To install LobeChat on our platform, go to ls.io and hit login. Click on Deploy My First Service. Search for LobeChat. Hit Select. Choose between the different cloud providers. I will choose Scaleway. Select between the different regions. They all vary between providers. Choose your service plan. I will keep the first one. And hit Next. Choose between the different level of support based on your needs. I will keep the included one and then hit create service. When the instance is ready, you receive an email. Follow the link, click here to get the password. Copy the password to your clipboard, we will need it later. And go to the admin UI link. We arrive on that landing page. We can either import configuration from another instance you might have previously, but us, we will do start now. The interface is a bit like ChatGPT. On the left, you have the history of the chat you have, we don't have yet. And in the center, you have the part where you can chat with the AI. This is the starting message from a default agent. Let's try just to use it. What is an open source software? And it's asking us to authentify. So we need to enter our password. Fine, we have it in our clipboard. Paste it, confirm, and retry. Then, because it's trying to use OpenAI, it requires our OpenAI API key. To get an OpenAI API key, you need to create an account and follow the procedure. Then you will be able to get an API key. Link will be in the description. When you have your API key, you just have to paste it here in that zone and then do confirm and retry. It will save it on your instance. And then you have the answer from ChatGPT. On the right, you have the different topics that you used. We were using the default topic. Here it is, but we can do rename if we want to name it like open source software, or instead, we can do auto rename. And based on the context, it will be able to name it like you are used to if you use ChatGPT. So either you can go back to default topic and start chatting with the chat, or use different topic that you created here and expand the conversation. That is the default agent, which is named just chat, activate the brain cluster and spark creative thinking, but we can create different agent and this is where LobChat has the real value. So let's create a new agent. By default, it creates this one, default agent with that icon. We can change it in the settings, the default one we will see later. But now let's edit this agent. So we can click on the icon here it opens the session settings and you can define the role of this agent. Let's type a prompt. You are a language teacher. Everything I say in English, you translate it into Japanese and break down the grammatical structure. Let's click on OK. So this is the prompt it will use to answer to all our messages. And we can customize it a bit like the avatar. It has no impact on the behavior, but it's good for the UI and to find our different agent. And if we want to share it, we can choose a different background color. We can rename it. Let's name it Japanese language teacher. The agent description by default, it takes the prompt, but you can rename it to make it something simpler. And you can add tags. Instead of typing it directly in the prompt, you can also use the magic wand to auto-generate it. It generated it in French. Maybe I was detected as a French. The meaning is right. Then you have more options like the chat window style. If you want to keep it in conversation mode or put it in document mode, I will keep the conversation one. You can pre-process the input of the user. For example, how to say in Japanese text. So the user will say, hello, how are you? And automatically it will be how to say in Japanese, hello, how are you? We have a bunch of additional settings. I won't go to all of them, but the interesting one is you can choose a different model. For now, we will keep GPT 3.5 Turbo, but you have access to the other one. For now, I'm happy with that agent. Go back to the session and say, do you like to go to the ski? And automatically, it's giving me the translation on, on how to say, do you like to go to the ski with a grammar breakdown, which is what we have in our prompt. As I mentioned earlier, you can choose between different versions of ChatGPT. Let's take GPT-4. Uh, what is the weather today? We have an issue because to be able to use GPT-4, we need to have already used some fonts on our API key. So if like me, you didn't, you won't be able to have access to GPT-4. You can have more information on the link they are providing here. So let's go back 
to GPT 3.5. In the bottom bar, we have access to different options to enhance our conversation. The first one is the model, so we already have it on the top. Then we can adjust the randomness of the answers by the agent. And then you can click here to limit the number of story messages you have. So currently it's unlimited, but maybe you want to keep only the five last messages. It's up to your needs and what your agent is doing. But sometimes if you have too many messages, maybe you experience it in ChatGPT, it will start to be laggy. So it's a good way to just keep the what you need and not use too many tokens. Then instead of typing, you can chat directly with your voice to it. If I click here on voice input, it's asking me access to my microphone and I have my translation Ohayo gozaimasu, which means good morning with the explanation of the gozaimasu, which is the polite form of the verb to be. And the last button, which is here, is to add extension and it's a very powerful feature. You have the plugin store, which contains a lot of plugins. Let's find one we can use for demonstration purpose. Let's choose mixer box weather, get real time worldwide weather updates and forecasts. Okay, install. Now click here and let's type what is the weather today. Okay, so I just have the translation. I forgot to activate the plugin. So let's try it again. What is the weather today? It's fetching with mixer box weather. And now we have the translation of what is the weather today in Japanese. Last thing in the bottom bar is here you have the number of tokens used. So you can see total available remaining and which one were used. So chat messages, the one for the plugin setting, the role settings. So you can have an overview of how your conception is going on. We have seen how to create custom agent by creating them from scratch, but you can also go here into the discover section and you can find a lot of useful agent that other users created. The list of agent is quite long. So instead of browsing it from top to bottom, you can use the search bar if you have specific need, or you can use the different category filters. Let's use the copywriting category and select the text variator agent. You have a description of what it is inside which categories it is. Let's click on add agent and converse. What it does is we provide a text we'd like to generate different version of. Let's start chatting. Okay, let's say a sentence. It should generate variations. You are watching our platform overview about low chat. And we have five variants. You are currently viewing our platform overview on Lobe Chat. You are watching the Lobe Chat platform overview and so on. We are using the text variator agent that we found from the discover list. But let's go back to our Japanese language teacher and we can do the same. We can click on share and make it available to all the other users so they can use our Japanese language teacher. On the bottom left, you have access to the user manual which is here. When looking at a new software, it's always a good idea to have a look at the documentation to see if it can help you when you are blocked and to discover every features that could help you and you had no idea it existed. And last option is the settings on the bottom left. Let's go to settings. We can change the whole theme of our Lobchat instance. I'm in auto, but I'm using light mode. So we can switch to the dark mode. Same for the language. It's using my system language, which is English, but you can have access to different languages. You can adjust the font size, the primary color. These are the UI settings, but you can go to language model. Currently, we are using OpenAI by default. The API key, it has been stored when the prompt was here to ask us for our key, but we can use other language model, such as Google or AWS ones. You just have to open it, add your API key, and then it will be available inside the different agents you will create. You can also change the default settings of the text to speech. By default, it's enhancing what we are saying so it can convert it, but you can disable it to just set what you have said as the input. Then you can set up the default agent. So every time you create a new agent, it will have a default prompt, a default icon, a different background color, and then you can start from it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed discovering Lobe Chat with us. If you find our content useful, please hit the like button to help other open source lovers discover it. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our upcoming videos. But before next week's one, I highly recommend you to watch this other platform overview we made, available here.